Hi Steve, I just want to explain some things that make sketching easier, for me anyway. Um, but your objective is to find what works for you. But I'll explain a few things and they might give you some direction. I got out this sketchbook to um, see this sort of landscape sitting by the river in uh, along the Arra. I'm sitting and sketching. Um, we actually had to stop because it was raining so much, but you spend quite a bit of time getting in detail to uh, create a picture when you're doing something in landscape. And for me, because I can't concentrate that long, uh, that can, it can be too long and I'm not getting um, the bang for my buck that I'm hoping for. And so I found that concentrating on something smaller works for me. So this is just some pods from a street tree, but just a smaller sketch and concentrating on something a bit smaller helps. I find even if I'm uh, sketching something live, sometimes taking a photo of it and also having that little framed photo of it helps me to isolate what it is I'm trying to focus on. So different techniques will work for different people. But what I then found was adding in colour or another dimension again. So in this case, I'm using the little kit of, well, first doing a pencil drawing. Without the pencil drawing for me, I'm having to concentrate on paint placement and shape at the same time. And concentrating on two things is harder. So having a little line drawing first helps. And if you like, you've got the rubber, you can rub that off as well. But then just a very loose, uh, placement of colour, not that much, but you can see how the uh, fine liner then gives real definition to what you're trying to do. And to me, for a shorter amount of time than that uh, landscape sketch, I'm getting uh, something that looks like a recognisable picture and therefore I'm more pleased with it. So the objective for adults who apparently 80% of the time learning something new will give it up, is to get to something you enjoy, get to a finished drawing, find whatever way helps you. If it helps you to uh, trace a bird out of a picture book, then do that to get that shape going, to get something that you're enjoying. Use anything at all that might help you get to something that you like. Um, and uh, things that are right in front of you that are easy to find and easy to work on. And the adding in that definition line, see it's not on, it's in the leaves, but it's not in the flower and it's kind of missing there in the flower. But the fine line helps to pop things forward and also means you can afford to be very gestural with your color. I've left this one in there because this is an example of a really crappy one that was disappointing and I thought the next day I'll do it again, but this time I'll use the fine liner. And you can really see the difference how the fine liner gives you a, a whole other depth and sophistication really to the simple, simple sketch with a bit of colour. Um, I'm painting buds there. Oh, I think that's Uncle Moogie showing me a drawing of a talking circle. Uh, but it allows me to then choose, I think I'm working, this is, um, you know, working on my favourites. So things that you really like, and whether it's sitting and sketching in the yard or from your own photos, the, that technique is quick and simple of just some colour and then adding in a bit, bit of detail with the pen, but starting off with the pencil. So just think about the things that you like, something simple to get things going. Oh look, there I'm sitting by the river and there's the carp coming up. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, choose something simple that you can uh, have a look at the simple shapes, the colors, and try just the technique of using your, your pencil, then your colors, and giving a bit of definition with the fine liner afterwards and see if you can uh, create a little practice that you enjoy. Good luck.